John Davidson Rockefeller Sr., or John D. Rockefeller, was a businessman who at one point owned and controlled 90% of all oil in the United States. He is still to this day considered the wealthiest American of all time. He also controlled a large part of the railroad industry and paved the way in creating a transcontinental railroad across the United States. Rockefeller was born into a large family in upstate New York and moved around several times before settling down in Cleveland, Ohio. He became an assistant bookkeeper and went to s into several business partnerships beginning at around age 20, concentrating his business on oil refining. Rockefeller founded the Standard Oil Company in 1870. He ran it until 1897 and remained its largest shareholder. Oil was used throughout the country as a light source until the introduction of electricity and as a fuel after the invention of cars. And along with his oil company, Rockefeller gained enormous influence over the railroad industry, which transported his oil around the country. The Standard Oil Company was also the first business trust in the United States. Rockefeller revolutionized the petroleum industry and, through corporate and technological innovations, was instrumental in both widely spreading and drastically reducing the production cost of oil. If one man had not been in charge of so much oil, it would have created a much more competitive market where prices would raise and people would have been unable to afford lighting before electricity or oil for their cars after automobiles were invented. John D. Rockefeller kept prices low enough that most people could afford oil for a car if they had one, which allowed for easier transportation. The Standard Oil Trust was ruled against by the Supreme Court, which said it had to be dismantled for violating uh, federal antitrust laws. It was broken up into 34 separate entities, which includes ExxonMobil and Chevron Corporation. Individual pieces of the company were worth more than the whole, and the share values doubled and tripled in the first few years. Rockefeller became the country's first billionaire with a fortune worth nearly 2% of the national economy. His peak net worth was estimated at around $418 billion, adjusted to 2019 inflation in 1913, two years after the trust was broken up. He spent much of his last 40 years in retirement, often giving money to medical projects and medicine research, as well as donating generously to, to many charities. He was a good man and did not look to steal from the American people by raising prices, and in fact, because he had so much in oil, he lowered prices so local competitors and small businesses could not compete and he, and he would buy their stock of oil. This could have been dis disastrous if Rockefeller had been looking to raise the prices of oil in order to get the most money possible and was a supporter of philanthropy or the desire to promote the welfare of others, often through donating the money to good causes. He was a devout Northern Baptist and he believed religion was a guiding force throughout his life and he helped it at his local church as a Sunday school teacher and served as a trustee clerk, and occasionally a janitor. He also adhered to total abstinence from alcohol and tobacco throughout his life. For advice, he relied heavily on his wife, with whom he had five children. Rockefeller supported social Darwinism and believed that the growth of a large business was merely a survival of the fittest. Rockefeller was a good person and cared about the consumer more than many big business heads and helped show that even someone who is considered a, the wealthiest American ever is humbled enough to work as a janitor at his local church. This shows something about his character and his values. John D. Rockefeller led the U.S. to a future in which transportation was no longer a hassle 
due to his and Andrew Carnegie's use of hardening iron and steel, creating longer wear time for trains and tracks. Also, the money he invested in medicine was used to create the instrument that near eradicated the hookworm and yellow fever in the United States. He helped push the future of the United States in a better and more automated fashion. He was appreciative of what he had accomplished and did not boast about his wealth. He believes in social Darwinism and said that there could have been any other product or company that would have taken my place. But God and a little bit of luck got me where I am today. Mm.